Okay, on my computer, if I type ipconfig all, we can see that on the local area ethernet connection, we have a DHCP enabled address. It says yes. So we have 192.168.10.120. And we see that the DHCP server IP address is 192.168.10.45. I got my lease on Friday, November 20th, today, and it expires tomorrow at 8 a.m. So I have a 24-hour lease period for DHCP. So this isn't going to actually expire till tomorrow, but I'm going to force it by using the IP config slash release. So now my Ethernet local area network connection has no IP address. So to renew an IP address, I type IP config slash renew. What we're going to do is we're going to capture these packets and see the DHCP discover and the offer and the acknowledgement packets go in the order that we talked about. So we're going to go capture interfaces and I'm going to do it on this one right here. I'm going to capture and then I'm going to go back to the command prompt and do the renew process. And I just got an IP, so now I'm going to stop the capture. <clears throat> and I'm going to take a look at what we have for what happened with DHCP. So here's the DHCP process. So I'm going to Oh, uh, we'll just keep that open there. So I was going to filter it by protocol, but we'll just keep this. This has all of them right in a row here. So the first thing that happened is if we take a look at the Ethernet address, my Ethernet address was 43D right here. Okay, so if we look here, the first DHCP discover came from 40. 3D. You see that right there. So it came from my computer and it went to whom? Everybody, a broadcast. You can see the broadcast address is FFFFF on layer 2. Layer 3 is the actual 255 to 255 to 255 to 255. And the UDP protocol is boot P. Okay, so that's the bootstrap protocol. So now the next option here, or the next step, is the DHCP offer that we talked about. The DHCP offer is coming from the source address D8E2, which is the actual DHCP server, the 192.168.10.45. Everyone see that? And its destination was a broadcast. So it just sent out an offer to everybody. So even your computers heard that offer. And then the third is my workstation. Here's the 43D MAC address. So it doesn't just send it back to the same. No, it sends it out to everybody. It offers back to anybody. So anybody could get that. So that's why we need to have the this request come from it. So the request is saying, I would like to request the requested IP address that you offered me. So let's take a look at what the offer was. Let's go back to the offer. And here is the IP address offer. Where is it? Here it is. The, the, your client IP address is 192.168.10.120. So in it, we have all these options. See, I was talking about option one, option two, option three. So these are the options that we have on the DHCP server. So this is what the DHCP server is offering the workstation. Here, here's all the good stuff. The workstation is saying, okay, I want to request all of that information. And here's my MAC address, by the way. You're going to need that. 
and here's a fully qualified domain name and it says I want all of this information that you sent me so then the server 10.45 responds with a DHCP acknowledgement acknowledging that yes you can have it and you get it for 12 hours and guess what you need to rebind to me in 21 hours because your release time is only one day so in other words after 21 hours I'm gonna have to make this request again and I think that is it these next two are gratuitous ARPs meaning the workstation is going to verify that it is the only one that has 192.168.10.120 because it doesn't want to have an IP address that is already being used on the network by some other workstation so the workstation itself is doing a little due diligence and saying um I the server is nice for giving me an IP address, but I just want to make sure that it is not giving me an IP address that could also be using. So it says, who has 192.168.10.120? Although it really knows that it has that address, but it's just going to see if anybody out there, any of your computers will respond. And nobody responded, so it's happy, and it sent it out twice just to make sure. So there it is. I'll send it out three times, actually. There's a third. Let's see if it shows up anymore. Nope. That's some other traffic on there. So that's it. That's what we have for the DHCP process. And now my workstation. If I type IP config slash all has all the information that it received from the DHV server.